Good morning, everybody. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Uh, I want you to share this with whoever you can share it. It's time for prayer. Uh, share this with as many people as you possibly can and let them know that we're live and it's time for prayer. And I'm here at the church again. I'm here. Here in Jesus' name, we should sing a song. I thank God I'm here in Jesus' name. Uh, but I'm here, um, and I want to uh, encourage you uh, to share this with as many people as you possibly can and give you the opportunity, as you just saw on the screen, the different ways that you can connect. Of course, I'm here Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays live. And then, of course, uh, you can connect with a prayer partner. I would encourage you to find someone that you can go through this journey with. Uh, tell them the different things. You all covenant together. Come together. Talk about the things that you're praying through and around and let's join and agree together. Uh, also, I'm doing a series right now called Background Noise, talking about um, how to hear God in the midst of distraction. So I don't want you to miss any of that. Now, of course, those of you who are say, I would love to participate in giving, I would love to participate in uh, connecting with the church, and um, I would love to support the ministry and the ways of which um, I can give. And of course, all the information there is on the screen that you can do that. If you haven't downloaded the app, the information there, go to your app store, uh, Play Store, whatever you have download church by ministry one and you can even watch this again um it's going to be there um um, in our Grow on the Go, I believe that's what it's called. Um, it's connected to our YouTube channel. So uh, we're live in a few different places right now. So I just want to encourage you. Um, of course, we, you know, we're live on Facebook and uh, YouTube and um, Twitter, all those different Periscope, all that. So I would love for you to uh, connect uh, with what it is that we're doing. We're in 21 days of prayer. Um, and today, um, I would like to give us our prayer focus as what we're praying for today. Uh, we're talking about clarity. Um, and there are many of you who um, need clarity. And when I say you, please know that I'm never excluding myself. Uh, there are always things that I'm bringing before God, always things. And I'm like, Lord, what is your will concerning this? And what is it that you would have for me to do? And how would you have for me to do it? We're all in the area of clarity. There's nothing wrong with acknowledging um, that I need some clarity. I need some insight on this. And it's good for us to do that. So I have a scripture uh, that I want to share with us today before we go into our time of prayer. And I really pray that this is encouraging you and I want to share uh, to continue to encourage you to share this if you haven't done so already so let's go to the scripture uh, Matthew the seventh chapter uh, verse 7 through 8 some of you are very familiar with this particular scripture uh, but it says ask and it will be given to you ask and it will someone put in the comment section say it will it will be given to you. It says, seek and you will. Uh, maybe that's what I should have talked about today. You will. <laughs> You're going to get it. You will find, knock, and it will. So ask and it will. Uh, seek and you will. Knock and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks does what? Receives. And to the one who seeks does what? Finds. And to, one, and to the one who knocks, what happens? It will be open to him. I want you to look at this scripture. Just look at that. Just one, before, one more time before we go into prayer. Ask and it will be given to you. Uh, you do a part. God does a part. Seek, you will find. Not, it will be open to you. For everyone who asks does what receives. And to the one who find, who seeks does what finds. And to the one who knocks, it will be open to you. Why am I saying that as it relates to clarity? Some of you didn't even see uh, where the clarity was in that. Now, the clarity in that was you do and he does. <laughs> Many of us, uh, as we go to God in prayer, often are saying, God, you do. Now, I need you to make a way out of no way. I need you to make bring me over this troubled waters and Lord I need you all these different things but this particular scripture let's look at it one more time before we go in prayer it says here it says uh, ask ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find I'm not going to go through all this scripture again I don't want to insult your early morning intelligence but to be able to look at that thing is to say as you do your part God responds to what it is that we do uh, that's what it is even with salvation uh, he extends salvation Jesus paid the price ultimately for us us, but it's not up to him to do anything else. It's up to us to respond to what Jesus has already done. Many of us, as it relates to prayer and as it relates to God doing things, we many times want God to be like a genie for us. And we really want to uh, have um, uh, something for nothing. And that's not how this thing works. God wants us to be able to, uh, Bible uh, scripture says, uh, to be able to show me your faith without your works. Uh, you have to make sure uh, that you have, uh, show me, what, what are you going to have? You have to make sure that we show our faith by our works. We're not justified by our works, but I'm saying, Lord, I believe you. 
Because I believe you, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not waiting uh, for a grant. I'm going to start working on how to write one. I'm not waiting on an open door. I'm a not before the door even opens. I'm not waiting. You know what I'm saying? There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a process to be able to participate in this. As we call on the Lord, <laughs> don't get me started. As you call on the Lord, he will answer prayer. But if you don't call on him, he has nothing to answer to. Uh, many times when, when it was time for us to eat, my parents would come to the door and they would say, Mario, uh, call my name from wherever I was, no matter how. Glory, Jesus. I feel Jesus. And I didn't even said nothing. Uh, we haven't started prayer yet. But for many other parents were probably calling their children's name yet. But I knew the voice of my parents. And when they called me, I knew it was time for me to come home, but they could be calling me and I could have not responded and I have could have suffered the repercussions, the repercussions of not responding. And there are many of uh, many of you who are saying that you haven't heard God say anything to you. And it's not necessarily true is that he's calling, but we're not responding to him. We're not responding to what it is that he is saying. He's on the porch calling you for whatever it is. But the Bible says in scripture we just read when it says ask and you shall receive not and the door will be open to everyone who asks receives and to everyone who, who uh, the door open. all those different this you do this that happens you do this that happens that's how this works as we are in prayer today there are miracles and signs and wonders and breakthroughs and things that you need in your life that we need in our lives but it's not us waiting on God to pull out the magic carpet for us to walk around and and to float all around the the city singing a whole new world like Aladdin no is for us to call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. The scripture says, one scripture says, this poor man cried and the Lord answered and heard and delivered him out of all his fears. The poor man cried possibly because he was poor. And I'm saying to you all today who need clarity, I'm saying do something and watch God, watch God move and work and operate according to what it is that you do. So as we go to God in prayer today and as we take this moment and we're asking God for clarity, and I'm not even trying to yell at the top of my voice early this morning and wake y'all up. But as we're asking God for clarity and we're saying, Lord, give me clarity, I'm saying, Lord, I'm going to give you my eyes. I'm going to give you my eyes. You can work with my vision if I give you something. Lord, I'm giving you my hands. If I give you my hands, God, you can, you can help me purify them. You can help me wash them uh, so that I might be able to put my hands to that. Lord, I'm not going to just ask you for clarity and not start to walk in the direction of what I'm asking you for. So we're, we're going to participate along with God as he clears things. Uh, it reminds me of uh, when I was driving one time down the highway. And as I was driving, I'm not trying to do this this morning, but I feel like it's important for us to, as we go into prayer, as I was driving through a particular storm and, and I was driving and of course the passengers in the car could not see, uh, uh, you know, they were telling me to pull over because they couldn't see. Uh, they were telling me to pull over because they couldn't see. We were driving down the highway in the midst of a storm. They were telling me, the passengers were telling me to pull over because they couldn't see. But I had to remind them, I'm the one driving. You don't have to see. I have to see. And when you are going through this season, hallelujah, when you're going through this season and when you're going through this time, if you're in the driver's seat and you're allowing God to be in the passenger's seat, you need to switch because you won't be able to drive through the storms of life by yourself. When the storms of life are raging, <laughs> you need somebody. Hallelujah. You need somebody who's going to stand by you. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ right now in prayer. And Lord, we're saying, let us switch seats. Lord, I know it's dangerous for us to be on the highway while the car is moving and we're switching seats. But Lord, it's even more dangerous for me to keep driving this way and we're going to get to the wrong destination. Lord, I'm switching seats. Somebody put in the comment section right now. I'm switching seats. I'm switching seats. I'm switching seats. I have not been able to figure this thing out on my own. I have not been able to do this thing on my own. I need to switch seats. I got to put me in the passenger seat, God. Jesus, take the wheel. Hallelujah. Jesus, take the wheel of my house. Take the wheel of my finances. Take the wheel of my business. Take the wheel of my day. Take the wheel of my worship. Take the wheel, God. I've been doing this thing on my own, and that's why I've been hydroplaning. 
<laughs> That's why I've been bumping into things in the night. That's why I've been doing all different types of things. Jesus, take the wheel. I need clarity for where I'm going. And you are the eyesight that I need in my life. God, I need you to be able to help me see clearly. And I'm not going to be able to see clearly apart from you. I'm not going to be able to see clearly apart from you. Jesus, take the wheel. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Jesus, take the wheel. I got to see where I'm going. I got to do what it is that you have called for me to do. I've got to go where you want me to go. And I can't go if I'm doing it on my own. Lord, I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you in my life. I need you to give me clear vision, clear vision, clear direction. It's been muddled. It's been, been muddy. Uh, uh, it's been, been fuzzy. I haven't been able to see clearly. And maybe it's because I put on the wrong lenses. Maybe the lenses that we put on have been a lens for last year or the lens from yesterday or the lens from last month. Father, I'm saying today, God, kingdom come. Thou will be done in my vision, in my eyesight. Let me be able to see. Let me wipe off whatever we need to wipe off. Let us be able to clean whatever we need to clean. And Father, we don't even have the rag that can clean us. We don't even have the cloth that can clean us. You are the one who cleanses our souls. You are the one who cleanses our lenses. You are the one who cleans our vision. Father, clean us up from the inside. <laughs> Glory! Clean us up from the inside that we might be able to see on the outside the way we need to see. We got a way to go. We got somewhere we got to go. And in order us, for us to get there, we need you to clean our, uh, clean our eyes, clean our vision, clean our, our insight, Father, that we might be able to see in the name of Jesus Christ. We're switching seats, Jesus. <laughs> That's what we're doing this morning. We're cleaning. We're, we're switching seats. We're asking, Lord, and we know as we ask, it shall be given. We're seeking, and we know as we seek, we shall find. No, we knock. The door will be open. So, Father, we're doing something today. That's what we're doing. That's what we're coming to you in prayer. We got to do something. Whatever it is we do, we know that you'll add to the something that we do. So, Father, we're doing something. Breathe. Hallelujah. Beyond the, breathe on the something that we're doing. Breathe on the something that we're doing. Whatever it is we're doing, breathe on it. Holy Spirit. Breathe. Holy Spirit. Breathe. Holy Spirit. Breathe. Holy Spirit. Do it in the the name of Jesus Christ breathe on your people breathe on your people breathe on this nation breathe on this world we need fresh vision we got to be able to see clearly God we need clarity we've been not been able to figure these things out our scientists need clarity our doctors need clarity our educators need clarity our leaders need clarity political uh, political affluent people they need clarity our churches need clarity our pastors need clarity ministers need clarity missionaries need clarity fathers need clarity mothers need clarity children are needing clarity students are needing clarity people who are in financial strait need clarity people People who are out on the streets, uh, they don't have any help or support. They need clarity. Father, the world, the world is desperate for clarity. We don't want to go another step. We don't want to move another step until you order our steps in your word. Order our steps so that we know where we want to go. Father, we're not trying to trust. Uh, we're not trying to trust the sweetest frame, <laughs> but holy, complete lean on Jesus' name, on Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory on Christ, the solid rock we're standing. Ah, glory. Ah, my, 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 yeah. Glory on Christ, the solid rock we're standing. All of the ground. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory. <laughs> glory. All other ground is sinking sand. We want to make sure that where we're going, we want to make sure that wherever it is that we're trying to go, whatever, wherever we're moving, wherever we're going, hallelujah, wherever we're going, we want to make sure that we're clear, that we got fresh, fresh direction. In the name of Jesus, we know there's a storm that's raging. We know that there are things before us that we've never seen before. But Father, we know that you made the world. You made our eyes. You know exactly what we need to see. So we're asking for clarity Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah put in the comment section let it be done let it be done let it be done let it be done put in the comment section I'm seeing clearly now 
Somebody put in the comment section, I'm seeing clearly now. I'm seeing what I need to do with my business. I'm seeing how I need to handle my children. I'm seeing how I need to handle my relationships. I'm seeing how I need to handle the community. I'm seeing how I need to handle this that's before me. I see the paperwork before me. It looked like a mountain before me now, but now I see the plan. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you for giving us sight to see. Thank you for giving us sight beyond sight to be able to see what we need to see. We glory glorify you. We glorify you. Thank you for giving us clarity today. Thank you that, we're able, that we have clarity today that we're able to see in ways that we were never able to see. You get the glory. Glory. Hallelujah. You get the glory. Hallelujah. You get the glory. Hallelujah. You get the glory. You get the honor and you get the praise. Yes, you do. In Jesus name. Amen. Somebody put in the comment section. I can see. I can see. I can see again. Go ahead. Put in the comment section. See, I can see again. Glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glory. Somebody put in the comment section. I can see again. I can see again. Hallelujah. Glory. I can see again. I can see again. Woo. Uh, yeah. Woo. Glory. Glory. I can see again. Hallelujah. If I wouldn't mic, I think I'd run around this whole building. I can see again. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. I can see again. Thank you all for tuning in for this time of prayer. Uh, am I up here sweating self? <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for connecting. Uh, I'll be back again live Friday morning at 7 a.m. for a time of prayer. I pray that this is blessing you, that this is encouraging you, that you have enjoyed this time together. If you're not following us on all our sites, please make sure you're following us on every site. Let's connect again. Those of you who say, I would like to give to this ministry, I would like to be a part of it. The information is right there on the screen. And for those of you who would love to stay connected in any way, shape, form to our 21 days of prayer, that information there is with you as well. All right. I love you all with the love of the Lord. It's my extreme pleasure to come up here this morning to be able to lead us in a time of prayer. God bless you. Share this with somebody. I'll see you again. Same time, same place on Friday morning at 7 a.m. God bless you.